G'day guys, how you doing? Got another beautiful night to do some astro imaging with the twins. So tonight's goal is to shoot another mosaic and this time of the tarantula nebula. Uh, I want to get used to using Nina before we take it out underneath some real dark skies to start really getting a lot of data and uh, and taking you know nights many nights to shoot uh, one mosaic I'm really excited about that and this is a big step forward to that so I cannot wait to see uh, what results we get uh, tonight and uh, fingers crossed everything goes through. For those that are watching this video for the first time, I want to give you a bit of a rundown of my equipment. I'm running twin Celestron Rasa 8 inches with uh, twin ZWO uh, focus motors and the Eagle 4 uh, onboard computer system, which I'm really enjoying a lot. I, I love the fact that uh, being able to monitor the, uh, the night sky quality as well as just having the GPS and, uh, and a few other bits and pieces as well. Really handy. Um, on the imaging end, I've got two ZWO ASI 294 MC Pro cameras and I feel that they're a really good combination uh, with this, uh, with the RASA 8. Um, and all that's running on a, uh, a Celestron uh, CGXL mount, um, which has been uh, fantastic and uh, I've been loving uh, every moment of it. The guide scope is a uh, William Optics. Um, 120 millimeter so it's a very tiny very small does a great job I am waiting on a new guide camera to arrive um, so fingers crossed we uh, we get that really soon and I don't bring too many uh, clouds upon these guys in the last video uh, we shot a mosaic of Orion which turned out really good I'm, I'm so pleased with the uh, the Nina software and the mosaicing side of things and being able to make the mosaic on the fly um, as well as also being able to plan it um, one night if I if I'm bored and uh, I want to try and shoot another mosaic of the night sky so I'm really finding that software um, very valuable and the fact that it's it's free is, is brilliant I mean I would pay for that uh, that software but still got a little bit of a uh, little bit of getting used to it um, but over the ASI Airs I really uh, really enjoy the uh, the Nina software Nothing like a bit of Astro, hey? And also, everyone um, up north, uh, I do apologize for the uh, beautiful weather we've been having down here. And, uh, and Ray, um, also, I hope things aren't too bad there in, uh, in Texas too. So uh, thinking of you guys out there. As you can see, uh, I'm all packed up for the night. I've captured my six panels, and tonight's had a little bit of drama as well. Uh, it turns out the battery pack, because I've been charging the battery pack um, for the last couple of nights, it, uh, it, it pr 
pretty much just about went flat and I was able to get a battery charger onto it and extension cords and, and all that sort of thing just to keep it going um, throughout the imaging session and I think I had maybe about 17 minutes left of power um, before it shut down so luckily enough we got everything done and, uh, and everything was all in the safe zone when it comes to power wise because the last thing you want to do is, uh, is stuff this up by under um, powering it. Uh, yeah, fingers crossed it all, uh, it all goes together well. Um, as I said, it's six, uh, six panels. Um, I think I've composed the image fairly well. The way the, the cameras sit on my RASs, um, I now know roughly uh, how many degrees I need to uh, rotate the image when building the sequence. Um, so I've learned a little bit tonight and, uh, and I feel I'm pretty much almost there to uh, go take this system out to uh, some dark skies. The, uh, the only thing I want to get uh, happening first is the guide camera and then get the two um, instances of uh, Nina to talk to each other when it comes to the uh, exposure of the images. Um, so what I did with the second uh, Rasa is I just set, um, I think it was about 300 frames and just let that one ran, uh, run just like I would with the ASI Air Pros. So they weren't quite talking to each other yet, um, but they will. And as for the uh, exposure times, they were uh, 30 second exposures. Um, I wasn't pushing things in too far. I just really wanna um, just make sure everything uh, works well. Uh, so 30 second exposures, uh, 30, um, 30 lights in each panel. And, uh, and that should give us enough data just to at least get something together and walk away with a, a reasonable image. Um, I know there's a lot more detail that can be done obviously through a lot more stacking and darker skies and whatnot, but uh, I'm really happy with how things are, are coming along. Um, yeah, well, I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. If you're new to my channel, please check out my other videos and if you enjoy them, uh, subscribe. Um, I love every subscribe you guys uh, give and all the comments you guys have all been uh, giving me too. I'm so grateful that the uh, CGXL is back up and running. Alright guys, well, uh, yeah, that's it. So until next time, take it easy. See you.